Hello friends, welcome back to another video on quantum quandary. Today, let's um, dive into Gronwall's Lemma, a typical tool used in ODEs and, well, other such scenarios. <clears throat> so it's going to give us an estimate on the um, function in one, one variable on an interval provided an inequality holds for its first derivative. So for this type, and then we're going to make it into an integral inequality as well. Um, so <clears throat> let's prove statement one. Of course, everything here should be nice. So A and B should be C, C0 and u should be c1. So of course, um, what I might do here is put things to the side as such. And now I want to make a total derivative and then integrate. Well, what kind of total derivative would work here? I could guess, but let's not guess. Um, let u be vy. Okay, so we have u prime is v prime y plus v y prime. And then we would get v prime y plus v y prime minus a v y. Okay, from the left hand side. <clears throat> and I'd like to make some stuff go away. So for example, this is v prime minus a v y plus vy prime okay and that's less than equal to b well um, since i made this arbitrary substitution let's let v prime minus a v equals zero so v is the integral of a let's see like this since we know what happens at A is the beginning of our interval. <clears throat> we keep things with A. So that can be our V of T. And you can verify that when you take the derivative of V, you get, ah, yeah, of course, we need E to this. So if I take V prime, T, I'll get a of t, the vt. Okay, uh, cool. So now, um, now this part is equal to zero. And so we have vy prime is less than v, i.e. y prime is less than b e to the minus a t a of s ds. Note that v of t is never zero, <clears throat> so we can divide like this freely. And now y of t minus y of zero, or y of a, sorry, is <clears throat> less than equal to, so I'm integrating the whole thing uh, from a to t of b of s e to the minus a t a of s ds. Let's make this tau actually ds. Okay, and now uh, we'd like to plug back in. So we have y of t. Maybe I'll, I'll write like this, uh, but the less than equal to here. Okay, and then um, so what y is, well, we need to multiply everything by v, which is okay, because v is not zero. So I have u of t is less than y of a and here I write v, so e to the a t, a of s, d s. So I have multiplied everything by v of t, right, to make u of t on the left hand side. Okay, and then plus a t, so this uh, v of t can go in and interact with the exponential. So what do we have? We have um, from a to t.
Yeah, this isn't uh, from A to T. This is from A to S, isn't it? Indeed. Sorry about that. So this is S because this was supposed to be uh, V of S minus 1. Okay. Um, so I'm writing the V of T here. Perhaps I, I can write like this first. This is V of T over V of S ds just to um, yeah just to not have confusion here um, so that means u of t is less than y a e to the a t a of s ds plus a t b of s and now you see v of t over v of s will just have t minus s here so e to the t s a of tau b tau ds okay cool um is that it that's it yeah so that's part one and now part two is when we have an integral inequality okay so it says that uh if u of t is less than a of t Or let's say like this a of s u of s from a to t plus b of s then uh, then something holds but let's just see uh, can we get this instantaneously from one There'd be, there, we'd have to have some special cases, wouldn't we? For example, if A were non-zero. Ah, no, 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 no. No, that's not true. We'd get the opposite. But that's interesting. Let's see if we can combine that in the next video and what happens. <laughs> okay, um, so let's say that this holds for T and I. For all t and i, uh, then so here essentially I'm um, I'm not going to um, you know make a statement and then prove it, but instead let's just see what happens when we differentiate this and as we go we'll see if something else needs to hold. So I'm differentiating, okay? Yeah, this should be T, of course. <clears throat> and, <laughs> okay. So uh, now we can see that this very much looks like one, right? It looks like this. Uh, so therefore, Therefore, we have that u of t is less than u of a. Yeah, note note that um, right. I I forgot to uh, express this. So this is u of a v of t over. Well, no, yeah, this part, this part should stay because because see, v of a is equal to one, yeah. So so this is equal to u of a, okay. Um, yeah, sorry about that. This is equal to u of a. <clears throat> so u of t is less than u of a, and then you can see this guy is the same, but this guy is b prime and not b. So we we need b to be uh, c one now, right? So b is in c one of i. Uh, so, a t a of s d s plus integral a t b prime of s e to the s t a of tau d tau d s. Okay, and now, you know, you think we might be done, but actually we can do better. So, actually, this quantity here can be integrated by parts. 
Um, so I'm um, treating like uh, this and this will be just b of s, right? And I copy the other part, a of tau d tau, and I evaluate this uh, from a to t. And then I have the um, integral of the, so of the primitive here, b of s, and then the derivative of this one, which is a of s. So it'll, it is with respect to s. Let's get some more space. It's with respect to s. And then we just copy s t a of tau d s d tau, sorry, d s. Okay. Uh, now b, this is just b of t. Notice that this at t is 1. Uh, and then minus b of a e to the a t, a of tau d tau. And then this guy here, um, this guy stays like that. Um, and of course it should be plus because it's this term that gets differentiated. Okay. So plus this term. Okay. And now, uh, we can plug all of this in. We just have to see, um, how to get rid of this because if I remember correctly, it's not in the statement. So I think we, we actually have to apply the inequality one more time, which is with this one. So, you know, we have to, let, let's see, let's evaluate it at A. So U of A is less than zero. So U of A is less than B of A, okay. Um, so this means that, uh, you know, going from here, have that u of t is less than, so I replace u by b, have b of a, e to the a t, a of s, d s, right? Now I'll write this term first. So minus, you can see it's the same term, e to the a t, a of tau d tau. I'll purposefully make the w variable different. Um, because it'll be more satisfying to cancel it out that way. And then B of S, A of S, E. Uh, I'll just write E to the A, D, S. You know what I mean. Um, so that's equal to, or maybe I will write it like that. So that's, these guys cancel. And so it's B of T plus A T, B. Maybe, maybe A should go first. It looks better. A of S, B of S, E to the A of tau, D tau, the bounds are S T, D S. Okay, cool. Uh, and now there's a final one. Um, so suppose, suppose um, B of S is greater than um, zero, greater than or equal to zero for s in i. So the first derivative is, is increasing, non-decreasing. Uh, sorry, the, the function is non-decreasing. Um, well, then we know that uh, b of t is, you know, the maximum of b of s for s less than t, okay? <clears throat> So then u of t is less than b of t, 1 plus a t, I'm just pulling b out, right? Uh, a of s e to the s t, a of t, d t, <laughs> d s, uh, this is tau. Uh, and you recognize this to be minus d by d s of e to the s t, a of tau, d tau. Um, and so that's b of t one minus um, this thing evaluated at t. Uh, well, evaluated at a t, right? 
Uh, and so at A, it's B of T E to the A T A of tau D tau, or we could do S now, A of S D S. And then at T, this is one, so that cancels with the other one. Okay, so we get that U of T is less than B of T E to the A T A of S D S which looks pretty nice. Okay, these are the, the three useful ground wall inequalities. Um, yeah, maybe we can use them in a future video and I'm gonna check out privately um, what sandwiching with uh, this and this would give if A were non-zero. Okay, that's it. Hope you guys have